auto parts business owner, Peter Frank, drives a hard bargain, insisting that a restaurant satisfy all three of his requirements, good service, relaxed ambiance, and well-prepared food. He gears up for satisfaction and maneuvers himself into position to enjoy the dinner at his place on El Camino Real in San Mateo at Allspice. We are basically showcasing a restaurant which is a little unique in its profile. Uh, it's an old Victorian house. It was uh, apparently built in 1906, part of the Burrell estate. My name is Sachin Chopra and I'm the exec chef and the owner along with Shoshana, my wife, and who is also the general manager of the restaurant. The food is quirky and different from most of the restaurants. I think what we excel in is giving you flavor in a dish through an unusual combination. For example, we have a brine pork tenderloin but it is served with foie gras sauce and like with the spiced okra. So it is a perfect example of like, you know, having uh, something from an Indian cuisine dish, which is very, very customary to have okra, spiced and crunchy okra, and then have a very American product and then having a very French sauce to it. So I think it perfectly exemplifies what we're trying to do at Allspice. In my mind, I think when the the guests come here, I want them to be happy and experience Allspice in, in all the glory what we always intended it to be. A, a small cozy place with a great staff, with a great smile and unique food. And uh, I think we've been quite successful at that. All right, Peter, let's talk about Allspice. Now, this is a, a favorite spot of yours, correct? Absolutely. For the last two years we've been going, it is wonderful. We discovered it and since then, We've been able to bring guests from all over the world there, and everybody's been impressed, everybody. Why is that? The ambiance, first of all, is wonderful. It's in an old Victorian house that was redone in such good taste that you go in there and you just feel comfortable. No room has more than three, four tables at the most, mm -hmm. and the service is just spot on. Mm -hmm. uh, the food is consistently good, and I find it a, a really a good value for what I'm getting. I don't mind going out of there and saying, you know, I just spent $100 for a meal for myself right. and my wife and really feel like I got my money. I'll worth. go with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Amanda, when you went, um, what did you get to eat? My aunt and I went and we got the scallops to start uh, and they were just so perfectly cooked and a little bit crispy and caramelized on the top. It was just, it was so good in this potato, not puree, but like a potato sauce. And it was just, just enough to make it more than a sauce, but it wasn't heavy. Um, we also got the the short rib vindaloo, which I'm still dreaming about, and I will just talk anyone's ear off about it. It's, it's hands down the best thing I've ever eaten. Really? Or, or up there, at least in the top five. It's it's that good. It Just the flavors were so unique, and typically in Indian cuisine, like the vindaloo is something that's pretty spicy, but this yeah. had just a hint of a kick on like on the aftertaste. And it was just the, the meat was cooked so well, it just fell apart when you looked at it. Right. You know, it, it was just, it was so good. I, I don't know how else to describe it other than you just have to have it. And Bill, are you, you're yeah. shaking your head yes over yeah. here. What choice did you have? Well, I had the venison mm -hmm. and it was delicious. I, I, I'm not so much a foodie, but I know what I like. And I, I decided to kind of go outside the box and have something that I am not familiar with. And the venison I had prepared uh, medium rare, brought it out on a, on a bed of lentils with uh, this little seasoning, uh, these sweet grapes that were underneath, it's just uh, an underlying hint of sweetness that so you take a couple of bites and you're enjoying the venison, the taste, the, the sauce is delicious, and then all of a sudden this little burst of sweetness, it just puts you right there. So, I mean, my experience was great, and that was just my entree, let alone, I'm not even talking about the appetizer and the, the, you know, right. the, the little mushroom soup that they give you, and, and the, oh, the, the, the bread fritters. They have a rutabaga soup that I just mm. fell in love with. The soup is brought out in such a nice way. There is a little bit of uh, the condiment, whatever it is. Uh, in our case, it was bacon and uh, some uh, kumquats, and then they pour the soup from the terrain at your plate. Mm -hmm. And it's warm and just sort of comes out at you. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling to start a meal that way, especially during the winter. I mean, he's got dishes like Ode to My Wife Part Two. I don't know what part one is, but you know, Ode to My Wife Part Two, who his wife was, is obviously his partner in the, in the restaurant his as His wife well. is the front end and the um, Mater D and Shoshana, Shoshana yes. exactly, yes. who is so wonderful for taking care of us. I'm just absolutely a delight. We actually did have the Ode to My Wife Part Two. Mm -hmm. um, also curious about what was Part One, but the Part Two, uh, it was 
really interesting. And again, it came out of the kitchen not at all like I was expecting it to, but in a really good way. You know, and it was this layered cheesecake almost, but with beets and like this pesto flavor, goat cheese and the fresh basil and the, I think a sun-dried tomato almond crust, but it was so smooth and creamy and so good and so fresh. And it was just a really good way to kind of wake up your palate, I guess you could say. It's a really good way to start the meal. I think you like this place. I'm getting I, an idea. It is, yeah. It's my new favorite place. It is <laughs> so good. You know, I would say probably on the pricier end, it's not a place mm -hmm. I would go all of the time, right. um, but it was worth every penny. It, it was just such a delight, everything. The service was five-star service. We're such a small neighborhood spot. And let's talk desserts, gentlemen, because I can see you both were waiting for desserts. I had something that I had never, ever had before. It was called a snow globe. It was served in a, like a stemless wine glass. It had a scoop of homemade single malt scotch ice cream with a salted... Like a peanut brittle? Like a brittle mm -hmm. with a huckleberry sauce. And then there was a, a, a chocolate disc put on top. Then they come around with a piece, with a little warm uh, olive oil pour it in and the mm -hmm. chocolate melts into it. Now you've got your flavors, your textures, your temperatures, and it just explodes in your mouth. It's just wow. the most wonderful dessert <laughs> I've ever had. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that's what I did. <laughs> now, there, yeah. you have to give people a little bit of clues about finding this, right? It's in an old Victorian house that's about half a block set off of El Camino. So you have to look for it and once you find it, you just go right into the driveway. There's parking all around it. You can come at it from the back or the front. Either side gets into it. All right, Peter, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. It's a fabulous place, and you feel comfortable bringing any guests. It's just wonderful. All right, and Amanda. Definitely some of the best food in the Bay Area. Uh, it's just, it's a delight. It's very interesting cuisine and worth a try. All right, and Bill. I was glad I was able to share it with three other friends. More for everybody. <laughs> so. If you would like to try All Spice, it's on South El Camino Real at Burrell Avenue in San Mateo. The telephone number is 650-627-4303. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average price for dinner is around $50. Mm -hmm.